There's a train, there's a train, and it rolls right along the track. Where it goes, nobody knows, but it always comes right back. There's a train, there's a train, and it rolls right along the track. Where it goes, nobody knows, but it always comes right back. And the conductor says, all aboard. The conductor says, all aboard. There's a train, there's a train, and it rolls right along the track. Where it goes, nobody knows, but it always comes right back. And the whistle goes, toot toot, and the whistle goes, toot toot. The conductor says, all aboard. The conductor says, all aboard. There's a train. There's a train, and it rolls right along the track. Where it goes, nobody knows, but it always comes right back. And the engine goes, chicka chicka chicka. And the engine goes, chicka chicka chicka. And the whistle goes, toot toot. And the whistle goes, toot toot. The conductor says, all aboard. The conductor says, all aboard. There's a train, sing it, there's a train, and it rolls right along the track. Where it goes, nobody knows, but it always comes right back. And the wheels go, and the wheels go, and the engine goes, and the engine goes, and the whistle goes, toot toot, and the whistle goes, toot toot. The conductor says, all aboard. The conductor says, all aboard. There's a train, there's a train. And it rolls right along the track. Where it goes, nobody knows, but it always goes right back. That's the song that I learned from that teacher that the children like to sing, the one about the train. Now, is it OK if I sing a song that's a little bit silly? Yeah! Are you sure it's okay? You think it's all right? Let me take the cable off of this one. You know, we're getting a bit of a crowd. Maybe uh, I could uh, bring my, my uh, stool over and uh, we can set up in the shade here. It's, if, I, if I go back there, it's going to be... Uh, the sun will be in everybody's eyes, but... Uh, I think we can do that after I do this silly song. Thank you, that's really just a little bit. It's a little bit silly, Gwen, is it all right? Miss Lucy had a baby. She named him Tiny Tim. She put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. He tried to eat the bathtub, but it wouldn't go down his throat. So you know what she did? Miss Lucy called the doctor, the doctor called the nurse, the nurse called the lady with the alligator purse. In walked the doctor, in walked the nurse, in walked the lady with the alligator purse. A fever, said the doctor, a cold, said the nurse, nonsense, said the lady with the alligator purse. Amoxicillin, said the doctor. Do you know what amoxicillin is? It's the pink medicine. Amoxicillin, said the doctor. Tylenol, said the nurse. Pizza, said the lady with the alligator purse. 
My mother was born in England. My father was born in France. I was born in diapers cause I didn't have any pants. Miss Lucy gave me bitches. Miss Lucy gave me pears. Miss Lucy gave me 15 cents and kicked me down the stairs. Then out came the water. Out came the soap. Out came the bathtub that wouldn't fit down his throat. Pretty silly, huh? You've heard that one before. Song? All you have to do is do what the song says. It goes like this. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Sing it with me. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Hide them in your lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Flutter, 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 flutter to your shoulders fly. Then like little birdies, let them fly up to the sky. Falling, 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 falling almost to the ground. Now quickly pick them up again and turn them round and round. Faster, 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 faster. Slower, 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 slower. Faster, 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 faster. Slower, 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 slower. You want to do a tone so little? Gwen wants to do it little. Little, little. Bigger, 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 faster, 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 slower, slower, clap. Yuck! Ew! Let's pretend our hands are covered with that sticky bubble gum. Show me your sticky bubble gum hands. Ooh! Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum. Bubble gum. Sing it. Bubble gum. Sing it, Max. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum makes my hands stick to my knees. And you pull them, and you pull them, and you pull them away. Sing it, friends. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum makes my hands stick to my tummy. And you pull them, and you pull them, and you pull them away. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum makes my hands stick to my head. And you pull them, and you pull them, and you pull them away. Sing it, friends. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum. Makes my hands stick to my cheeks. You don't want to sit up there? And you pull them, and you pull them, and you pull Pull them away! Sticky, sticky, stick. One more time so the grown ups can hear it in their sleep. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum. Makes my hands stick to my mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pull them away! Turn on the water. Get your hands wet and get some soap. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub your hands together, rub your hands together, nice and clean, nice and clean. Wash the soap off under the water. Turn off the water, shake them in the sink, Get your paper towel and dry your hands. And after your hands are dry, where do you put that paper towel? In the trash, yes. 
Hey, Max, do you know what this little boy's name is? His name is Max, too. We have two Maxes. Well, friends, we have been singing for a long time now, and soon the jug band is going to play. But before uh, we finish up, I wanted to do my favorite one about the little boy and the little girl, and then I wanted to do the Town Day Rock. Um, yeah, here you are. Wherever we go, there we are, Gwen. It's true. Noah, which should we do first, the boy or the girl? The boy. And here he is. Look, it's a pointer finger. Can I see your little boy, too? This is a little boy. He's ready for bed. And you can make the bed with your other hand. On the pillow, he lays his head. You did it, too? That's the way we do it. Wrap the cover around him tight, and that's the way he spends the night. Morning comes, he opens his eyes. Off with a toss, the cover flies. Up he jumps. Gets dressed. Put some clothes on that boy. Uh, does that boy wear a diaper? Well, take his diaper off before you get him dressed. Put a new one on too. Yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe he only wears pull-ups at night. Put some underpants on. Get him dressed. Eats his breakfast. No pull-up anymore, Gwen, huh? Great. Amazing the details we get about our personal lives. Brush your teeth. Brush her, his teeth. He's ready to work and play all day. Shall we do the little girl too? Show me your little girl. Look, it's the same pointer finger. This is a little girl. She's ready for bed. On the pillow, she lays her head. Wrap the cover around her tight. And that's the way she spends the night. Morning comes, she opens her eyes. Off with a toss, the cover flies. Up she jumps. Should we give her a shower today? Dry her off. Let's blow dry her hair. Gets dressed. Eats her breakfast. Brushes her teeth. She's ready to work and play all day. Well, we have been singing for a long time. And you know what? Grown-ups are the hardest part of my job. And the grown-ups did a great job today. Should we clap for the grown-ups? And I'll clap for those kids, too, because they did a good job, too. All right, let's finish up with some dancing. Everybody up so we can, I can play the music. What? Won't that fabulous fun, Gwen? Gwen's going to go in the bouncy house. And there's a lot of fun things to do at Town Day. Okay, now I'm going to play the music fast. But I'm going to stop the music very quickly, too. When I stop the music so fast, can you stop, too? Can you freeze like a snowman? Shall we try it? Clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap. Clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, clap. Now let's stomp our feet. Stomp your feet on the grass. Stomp your feet on the grass. Stomp, 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 stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Now let's jump. Jump, but don't bump. Jump, 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 and jump, jump, and jump, jump, and jump, jump, jump. Jump, 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 jump. Now let's dance. You can dance by yourself. Dance with your friend. Dance with your brother or your sister if you're here. You can dance with your spouse. Dance with your grandma. Dance with your grandpa. Dance with me. Let's dance, 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 dance. Dance, dance. Spouse is husband or wife. Friends, take your hand 
Don't put him back. And put your hand on your chest by where your heart is. If you feel very carefully, you'll feel your heart bumping and pumping and pumping. Our bodies have been moving so fast. Let's take a deep breath. And let's do the last one. It goes like this. Old man Moses, sick in bed, called the doctor and the doctor said, take one step backwards. Turn all the way around. He's growing. Better on the outside. Do the hokey pokey. Do the hokey pokey. Do the hokey pokey and get out of town. I don't have to get out of town because I live in Arlington. You did a great job today. You did, you did too. You, you live in Byfield? You came all the way from Byfield? Oh, you came for, for town day at my grandpa's house. A, slep, a sleepover. What fun. Friends, um, my name is Hugh Hanley, and I have information about my work. It's singing with young children and the adults who sing with them. And uh, I've had a great time today, and you did a great job. Let's clap. Thank you all, and thanks to ACMI, our local cable station, for uh, being here to provide the sound and to, uh, to uh, get a video of this presentation. How are you doing today? Beautiful day, huh? We are so lucky today that we can be outdoors in this beautiful day. Um, uh, my name is Lauri Gutierrez. I am a Arlington resident, um, a fan of Jeff and ACMI, and that's why we're here. They invited us. And um, our ensemble is going to be playing um, some music that uses as a building block early music and connects with Latin American music. So, is anybody here from Spain? No? From Colombia? No? From Venezuela? Anybody from Venezuela? Ah, two here. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to start with a, a piece called Si Me Nacen Colores, and uh, we, Peru, yes, that's fantastic. We will be uh, paying attention to you. And um, uh, the rhythm here is called Fandango de Lengua. Oh, oh. 
The next piece that we are playing is called El Currucha and is typical of Venezuela and is a rhythm called Joropo. And all the songs that we have been doing so far are praising dark women, La Morena or La Negra. And that's a program that we have uh, been preparing for a while, uh, both with early music and Latin American music. The next piece also interested in, in women is called Señora. And it comes uh, from a Renaissance um, uh, manuscript. and. Um, then we move into a Venezuelan piece called Mar de la Virgen Bonita. Thank you. Thank you. 
my name. I, we want to take a minute and introduce ourselves. So I'm the first. My name is Adriana Ruiz and I'm from Cuba. Um, I'm living currently in New Hampshire. Hi. My name is Miguel Cabrera. I'm from Venezuela. I'm tenor and live here in Arlington. It's a pleasure. Hello everybody, good morning. My name is Eduardo Berancur. Soy from Venezuela. And it's a pleasure to play for you today and a beautiful day. Hello, my name is Cynthia Matheson. I'm a violinist and violist. I'm from Pennsylvania. And I'm also a gombist and I'm honored to be here today. Thank you. Hello, my name is Gustavo Prada. I'm from Argentina, a percussionist, um, and I hope you all enjoy this beautiful day. Hi, I. Um, my name is Laurie Gutierrez, and I'm from Venezuela. I, I actually introduced myself earlier. And I'm also very modest. So um, the next piece you hear the music. What was the name of the group? The name of the group is called Rumba Rocco. I have a, a CD over here, and we have CDs to um, sell very cheaply. And we have usually play in a church called the Covenant Church. And um, Miguel uh, has uh, some. Uh, uh, forms if you want to know more about us or that we tell you when we have concerts we uh, we have these uh, uh, forms for you to fill out and then we can take uh, your email and send you maybe once a month or so uh, you can pass it The next piece that we are preparing for you is called La Lloroncita. Anybody knows this piece? Yeah? It's, it's a very, yeah, Lydia. It's a piece uh, from Mexico and it's very, very popular. And very popular in, in the folklore of, of uh, Mexico. Um, it's typically played with a harp, but they usually use a jarana. And uh, we didn't have a jarana, so we we're going to have to use the, the cuatro. And Miguel, who is um, over there, uh, is going to be the soloist for this.
mi amor This is a song that the people that take care of cattle in Venezuela will sing in the very morning and they sing it to um, uh, the animals because they have a very close relationship to, to the cows and they sing to, to them and they are like family. And uh, for this piece, we only, it's a very special piece, very um, deep. And so it's only Adriana and Eduardo who will be playing this piece. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. 
Thank you, Adriana and Eduardo. We have two more pieces to play for you. Uh, the next one is an instrumental piece called Sarambeque, or Muecas, from Santiago de Murcia, which is a um, Spanish or Mexican um, composer from the uh, early music period. And this piece, we are going to connect it with a joropo, which is a Venezuelan dance. So, so you know, um, I'm going to, I'm playing an instrument called viola da gamba for the first part, and then I, I put it down and I grab the cuatro. So, um, when I play the joropo, so you will know.
What we did is we played the early music piece when I was playing the viola da gamba, that's the early music piece. Then we switched to a Venezuelan piece that is similar. And then we kept that rhythm and played the early music piece. And so you see, it fits perfectly. Now, I think that it's time for you guys to join us in this last song. It's a very popular song called Guantanamera. How many of you know it? Yeah, yeah. So join us, uh, especially in the chorus. We let we let the soloists do the, the verse, but in the uh, chorus, just join us. It's, remember Guantaramena? Yeah. Guajira? Guantaramena. Here we go.
for joining us today. Thank you, ACMI. Thank you, Arlington Town. We look forward to seeing you again. We have a concert on October 21st at the Covenant Church in Boston. I have some flyers here. Feel free to come and, and, and have a look at the instruments and, um, and talk to us. We're here. We'll stay here for a few minutes before we go. Thank you again for coming and sign up for our newsletter and we will keep you informed. Stay well. <laughs>
Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for coming out on such a beautiful day. We are the Squeak Easy Jug Band. Um, you enjoy the set. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to give a little props to Michael Bonaiuto over here, who is not only uh, one of our multi-instrumentalists, but is also the mastermind behind all of the contraptions that you see here today. <laughs> this, 40 bucks at Home Depot, this whole thing. <laughs> um, you know, the sort of boom chick device that Jasmine's playing here. The, the jug-laden contraption over there that Michael plays. And also, check, in, check out what he's plugging in right now, the so-called paddle steel guitar. <laughs> We try to pretend like we're old school, but we're so high maintenance as yes. a band. <laughs> There's really a lot of technology up here, too. <laughs> oh, yes. This next song from the Memphis Jug Band. So, like, what is Jug Band music, really? It's kind of this sort of, like, stew pot of blues and folk, Americana, all 100 years old. So we've got, like, you know, state-of-the-art technology playing 100-year-old music. <laughs> But it's uh, it's swing, it's, it's it's fun, it's silly. It involves uh, great musicianship from uh, Jasmine and Hendrix and Michael, um, and uh, you know Peter. we're just Emmy, I guess. <laughs> and uh, we're excited to be here. Um, so this one's uh, yeah, don't sell it, don't sell it, right? Memphis Jug Band. Here we go. Yes, baby, yes. One, two, three, and. <laughs>
Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Hendrix Berry on the fiddle. Woohoo! Thanks, guys. I think, I'm not sure what the, the line is where you call it a fiddle versus a violin, but I think this is safely fiddle territory. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. okay. Losing the bottle. Jug band tempo. Jug band tempo. That's, that's Everybody. Watch you for that stuff. He's gonna be slow. He's gonna say a little slow. What's your what's your jug band tempo? Jasmine Moran, guitar, boom chick, <laughs> vocals. Peter Fernandez, Hi. bass extraordinaire, and more. <laughs> Kazoo, <laughs> more tricks. Playing the wrong side. <laughs> so I have a little introduction. 
introduction to this song. Um, this is I Get the Blues by Bo Carter. And uh, okay, I'll speak into the microphone. Bo Carter uh, was a blues man back in the <laughs> 20s, and he's most famous for writing songs that were rather ribald, mostly about um, genitalia that's, <laughs> that's um, camouflaged as fruits and vegetables. <laughs> and this like is his artist. only clean song. True. I was a little nervous about that. Family town day, you know. <laughs> Uh, it's a very exciting and busy day today at Town Day. I just finished doing tours of the high school. We had a thousand people come through, which was really exciting. And now Town Day, and i um, about to take a tour of the 200 different booths we have here. Yeah, we have a lot of booths here, and it's uh, you know, scattered all over the place as far as food and certain causes and everything else. So it's great to just see everybody out here. It's been three years, and you can just tell. There's a euphoric feeling here as everyone's walking down Mass Ave. No, it's just so fun to see people face to face. I've shaken a lot of hands already today and uh, just put in names to faces. It's a great way to, to mingle with people. It's great. And, and uh, Mike Mason, uh, our deputy town manager, who's coming on board, I believe, in November, gave me a tour of the high school, just an updated tour. And that high school is absolutely marvelous. It looks great. Everybody who came through today was excited about how it looks. And I think it was important also for people to see how their tax dollars are being used. I got a lot of people commenting that way. So um, it's a beautiful building. Next time we do a tour, if you haven't taken one, please do. Uh, and we're on schedule, we're on budget, and we're looking forward to opening our next phase next, uh, next fall. And in addition to all the Town Day activities taking place here on this uh, avenue, we also have fireworks at Spy Pond tonight. We do. Uh, on a Saturday night fireworks, a little different from the past. Uh, those will start around dusk, and uh, it's a beautiful night to be out, so I think it'll be a beautiful night for fireworks. Couldn't ask for better weather. Absolutely. All right, and Shannon, uh, your shirt says, ask me about recycling, so you know what? We're going to ask you about recycling. Sure. Something about recycling is that coming November 1st, um, the entire state of Massachusetts will have to recycle all of our textiles. So they are banned from being disposed of as trash. That's interesting. Now, as, as far as textiles, what kind of textiles? Natural fibers like cotton and wool? How about polyester, rayon, nylon, uh, the, po the polymers as they call it? All of the above can be recycled. Really? And where do they go? Are there? I know you have a booth here, and so you can tell everybody where they go. So can you tell us a little bit about your booth? Um, sure, yeah. I Our booth here today is uh, Zero Waste Arlington, um, so people could visit them and ask them more about textile recycling. Um, but do you want to know where the textiles go when they're recycled? I can speak to that a little bit. They'll be um, sorted into grades. Some of it won't be recycled, it'll be reused. A lot of what people send in can be reused or resold. And that happens to most of the textiles that we send in for recycling. The rest of it, if it's stained or too worn down or wasn't clothing in the first place, um, can actually be broken down to its most basic fibers and recycled, um, usually into rags that they sell to industry. Now, for years, this is statewide we're talking about, and for years people would, uh, let's say they had a t-shirt, the t-shirt was worn out, they used it to, to wash their car, and it's just dirty, it's dingy, they would throw it out on the trash can. How bad is that for the environment? Um, not great. One, one t-shirt, not bad, but... Um, but if a million people are doing it. Right, there's some great statistics that you can see at the Zero Waste Arlington booth about um, how much carbon that diverting textiles from the trash can save from entering our atmosphere. And if people want to know more about this, because I find this very interesting, you have a website. What is your website? Um, ArlingtonMA.gov slash recycle. Zero Waste Arlington themselves also have just launched a website. I would guess that it's ZeroWasteArlington.com. It might be ZWA. Right, Arlington.com. Right. They could probably also look at the town website if they don't know uh, directly where to go. But hey, thanks so much for your efforts and, and trying to, you know, clean up things. We're, we have over 7 billion people on this planet, folks, and it's the only planet we have. You have anything else you'd like to say before we sign off here? 
I don't right now, thank you. All right, so uh, if they want to know more, Zero Waste Arlington, go to the booth. We're here for a few more hours. And again, Shannon, thanks so much for all your efforts. Thank you. Susan Gilbert, I'm a volunteer with the Dallin Art Museum, and today for Town Day, we're having what we call Artist on the Green. We have 19 different vendors selling all kinds of artwork, anything from painting to jewelry to arts and crafts, plus lovely music to listen to. And we also have a raffle that people can buy tickets for to raise money for the museum. They're open Saturdays and Sundays from 12 to 4 and by appointment. You can just check out the information on our website at dallin.org. You can be an individual member for $50 or a gold dual member for $100. Thank you very much and I just want to add we're always looking for more volunteers so if you're interested in donating your time we'd be glad to hear from you.